Hello everyone and welcome. BNSF6951 here with a update number 10. Uh, this weekend I've been putting track down in my second room, getting all my industrial spurs in and uh, getting my IM yard up and running and all that kind of good stuff. But anyhow, uh, this is the track plan that will be going in here. As you can see this one will feed uh, uh, Big D's flooring supply and modular systems and then we will have a turnout that will go over to SFP plastics and I have a road that's going to be going up to my IM yard and then the other side of this is going to feed LexJet and Sun Electronics as we move further down we'll see we have Glendale Depot uh, this depot hasn't been used for a couple of years now. Uh, what they do use it for is for storage and crew sheds and uh, uh, radio dispatching and all that kind of stuff. And then we will mosey on along and we go into the IM yard. And I thank my buddy Steve for all the concrete pads. And there's my check in and check out station. Uh, that's again thanks to my buddy Steve. I copied his. And uh, if he doesn't like it, that's just too bad. Uh, again, sorry for the light, fellas. And we come around here. And there's your two weeds for the intermolar yard. And then we'll have Praxair, which I changed the position of. It's more prototypical to be where it is now. And then I have Builders Express. Um, the industrial spur for that is not hooked up yet, but there'll also be a service track or a team track, whatever you want, guys want to call it. And then a little further down, we have Hootig building products. And they'll get all kinds of stuff going in there, flat cars, box cars, center beams, whatever. And then of course it goes into the other room. But anyhow, I want you guys to stand by because I have a special test run uh, coming up for my buddy Steve. Uh, hang on, and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Thanks. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm back. Well, without further ado, let's do a uh, test run for the first intermodal yard. Now, in real life, the train would not be coming out of Phoenix. Its last stop would be the intermodal yard coming from the north, and then it would head back north up to uh, Ash Fork and Williams. So, let's get on with this. I'm just doing this so we can have a little... A little fun and a little test run here. Let's see how many screw ups we could have. Anyhow, here we go. A pair of Dash 9s pulling it. 725 is the lead motor. These are Cardo motors uh, with uh, Digitrax decoders in them. And right now I'm at speed step number two. I'm going to bump it up one. And now we're at number four. I know I said one, but. Actually, one and one make four, right? <laughs> okay, we're going to go across a couple of turnouts here that are not protected by any kind of device. I'm waiting to get some uh, ground throws. But as you can see, we're entering the uh, IM yard. And uh, so far, we're not looking too bad. But, um, Let's see how it goes through the whole thing here. And we'll be coming up to first of the two my jack cranes. And there we go. And so far we're looking pretty good. I wouldn't say excellent, but looking pretty good. this were totally complete, uh, that train would be heading north towards uh, Williams and Ash Fork. But because I don't have a helix, I need to stop the train there. So we will stop you right there. And at this point, I will give you guys an overview of my IM yard. 
There's a check in, check out. Uh, thank my buddy Steve for the idea. And then my small collection of trucks. And again, I want to thank Steve for all the concrete uh, pads that he has given me with lines already drawn out. And uh, here's my container section. Not very many containers. If you guys feel like giving some away for free, Vinny will take them. Um, if you remember a couple weeks ago, I did a video on some uh, paper cutout containers. The K-Line and the P&O are two of the models that I did. Um, Steve is also doing, from a different company, cut paper cutouts. And we are comparing our notes to see who's better or if they're the same or whatever. But anyhow, I guess that's going to be it for now. Uh, BNSF 6951. I'll say goodbye right now. And if you have questions or comments, they'd be welcome. And of course, subs are always welcome. BNSF 6951. Out.